Hi, I am Mark Reichmann and I have problems with my hard to puzzle. I am sliding a toothpick along the ridges of the pieces that stand out for you to see it. The pieces are too loose and some even have movement with, which causes pops constantly. To disassemble the puzzle and hopefully retighten it, you first need to get the uh, small pieces out. Um, I suggest a toothpick for this. Now Hato can be easily disassembled like any 2x2. Two two. Use an Allen key to unscrew the screws. I found out that the movement came from the corners where the mechanism was too loose. As you can see, I can wiggle part of this piece around with no problem. If you want, you can also disassemble the middle and edge pieces to clean them. To disassemble the corners, you can slide a hobby knife into one of the thin cracks on the upper part of the piece. Then tilt your knife carefully to achieve leverage. Don't rush it and repeat this step often and with little force or else the pins holding the surface of the corner will break. The plastic pyramid-like shape that keeps the corner from falling out is connected to said corner with a tube. That tube is held in place with a screw that can be tightened from the inside. Unfortunately, the tube already had small cracks and a white discoloration as if the screw was accidentally tightened too much and lowered again not to break. These things were minor so I had no hope of uh, showing it to the camera. To reassemble the pieces, you simply put them back on top of each other and push very carefully. Sometimes the pyramid will have twisted slightly, remember to adjust it. If you accidentally broke one of the pins, you can fix it with a bit of super glue. First, cut off uh, the plastic pieces that uh, might interfere with the glue. Then put the glue on. Adjust it by holding the corresponding piece next to it and putting it in the perfect position with a toothpick. After letting it dry for an hour, sand off excess glue.
you can also lube it before reassembling it like a two bit. You can also lube it before reassembling it like a two bit. Tension all the sides equally. Ideally, you shouldn't be able to force the pieces apart. I put the small spheres back with the use of a toothpick. The very last piece can be inserted uh, when everything is aligned. Since everything is assembled, this could be the end of the video. Yet it isn't. It came apart. These tubes I mentioned earlier broke off of those pyramids. In order to fix it, first disassemble everything. This is how the tube looks. The white is where the screw made its tracks and the clean side is that one that broke off. We'll use a technique from model building called pinning. You basically drill a hole in both parts and then glue a wire or a nail inside them to make the connection more stable. Start off by choosing a nail and a drill the same size as the hole of the tube. Drill a hole into the pyramid as deep as you can. There will already be a dent where you need to drill. This is as deep as I got. Cut the screw and tidy up the cut with some sandpaper, file and a hobby knife. You'll need to screw the screw back. This is how the nail will hold together both parts, for this needs to be short, enough for the screw to wholly fit into the piece. Glue everything together.
tidy up excess glue. And use pieces of the corner to correct the angle of the pyramid. Leave it to dry for a few hours. Clean off the dried glue and reassemble the puzzle. Keep in mind that I am no engineer, so what I say may very well be wrong. I believe this is a flawed design. The spheres will pop when the corners have movement. Yet part of the corner is not stable enough to restrict that movement. So either you will have pops or the corner will break. I have yet to solve it or even scramble it without any pops. That's why I think this puzzle is only suitable for displaying it and not for playing with it. And uh, it does indeed look very pretty. If you wanted to play with it, I suggest to get the 7 star UFO instead, since it's much more stable and hasn't popped once. Important note. The breaking of the corner pieces is to a large extent my own fault, since the description of the puzzle explicitly stated not to take it apart. With that said, have a wonderful day, bye.